So here we go. And Reed sends it into the backcourt to the veteran Austin Rivers. No D'Angelo Russell for Minnesota. No Carl Anthony Towns. No Rudy Gobert. For the second consecutive game, Minnesota without a host of guys as Reed immediately goes to work on the interior and attacks Pokashevsky. And good hustle by J-Dub, keeping it alive. Boku sends it over, SGA reload three, not going to miss that time for the first bucket of the game. Took some contact inside, still able to get it off the glass and in. Oh, this is between two defenders. And there is Reed, he's got his second bucket right down Main Street. He's been so good at grabbing rebounds and getting out of the break. Pokashevsky's pass, mishandled. And here comes Minnesota. Reed sets it up, and McDaniels on the fast break. See Austin Rivers, the veteran, trying to defend Giddy. Giddy, oh, he saw it. Jacob on the backside, pops it back for the hammer jam. Those holes in the defense and attack. Looked like there was a poke away. Reed again, he's got some ball handling skills. Poku tried to recover, and Reed plays through it, gets the end one. So next stoppage, he's waiting at the scores table. Jay puts his head down, then puts the brakes on, pulls up, and gets that friendly bounce. As Shea puts his head down on McDaniels, and then shows the touch again. You're listening to your coach, but you're also putting forth twice as much of the effort to make things happen. Minnesota can't find a shot, so it's an individual effort from Anthony Edwards, who drains his first three. Had some time with Atlanta. Muscala dumps it off, over Rui, not to be denied on the slam. And how about Mike looking for that baseline again, knowing that he was covered a little bit. Tight first quarter. Very different than what we saw the last time these teams met. As Wiggins steps behind the tape. A nice looping three from the corner. Especially along the baseline. One of the best inbound passers in the NBA, it's Giddy. It's Muscala in the corner, off the catch, and knocks it down to beat the buzzer. Well, that was uh, pretty obvious. Omaroli from the outside. Had a good look and swishes it home. Man. Up top, it's J-Dub. Pulls up for the shot. Hop up, Jalen Williams. And more often than not, he just does not look like a rookie. Yeah, Jalen Noel has pretty good defense on him as well. About to poke away by Omaroli. Look what it leads to. And Wiggins on the fast break. Dort's averaging a career high in assists. This time he wants to pull the trigger on a three. And Trey Mann, another offensive rebound, fires it inside. Wiggins was waiting for it, and he beats the help defense of Reed. Somebody pick it up. Good things will usually happen behind that. Hey, hey. Edwards through traffic and skilled enough to score off the glass. He was waiting for him. Here is Noel. Rivers. Hoist and hits from downtown. That is Austin Rivers. Rivers. Did a good job of keeping the thunder out of the paint. Deep catch by McDaniels, and he got it up over Giddy. For the Timberwolves. The well, Timberwolves have mustered together 15 straight. Now Poku. Good hands, good active hands. He's going to stop here, and Giddy out on the break. Got behind the defense. He's been on him all night long. Minnesota trying to use the length of McDaniels to cause problems for Shea. Now McDaniels steps behind the three-point line. 36% on the season. McDaniels not the one to take a ton of shots. Dort flips it back out to an open shooter. It's J-Dub, a little short, got his own miss. Powers it down. As Edwards wheels around and just did thread that pass. So McDaniels eating up a little bit offensively. Just to kind of slow down the Minnesota Timberwolves offense. You got two more quarters of basketball left. And you get to go into halftime. Minnesota's kept that ball moving. It leads to an open three for Nas Reed. Goes right back to Edwards. Dort contested, hand in the face. Edwards still able to beat it from deep. 
so much, Chris. Well, the free throw line was a big story in that first half. Minnesota was 16 attempts to, compared to just three for the Thunder. And I spoke to Thunder player development coach Eric Maynard. Minnesota's leading score with 19. But obviously, Michael, the turnover is a little bit of a problem for OKC in the first half. Shea aggressive. Going to go right to the line and have a chance at an old-fashioned three-point play. And Shea has himself another deuce. Yeah, took a little shove as well to make that shot even more difficult. Boy, but Minnesota's caught fire from the outside. Eight for 13 prior to that miss. Shea right through the teeth of the Minnesota defense in transition for the two-handed stop. Welcome sight there, partner. Those, all those home games coming up. And how about Anderson right around the corner through the OKC defense. And Minnesota's lead, which was trimmed down to four at one point of this third quarter. Stretch back out to nine. Edwards makes it 11. To come up with some loose change around the basket. And cash in those chips. Put the nine points off the bench for Eugene Omarui. As Edwards gets fouled on the three in the closeout of Waters. It's Wiggins. Got downhill and still able to score. Over the Gonna want to keep that ball moving around the perimeter. Shea with the step back. Straight away three. Making 21 points in the third quarter. Turnover's been a problem for the Thunder tonight. Turnover to 17. Rivers met, still able to play through the verticality of Muscala. Nice little rhythm shot. Just remarkable how efficient he's been, and now a steal. Poked away by Waters up ahead. Joe avoids the defender. Gets Cliff, puts it in, plus the foul. And it's Minnesota's turn to cough it up. Here is Shea around Anderson. Puts the shot in. But there's still time, and Waters stole the way on the inbounds pass. Over to Wiggins, and it, OKC's got the lead. And this group's going to stay out on the floor to start the fourth quarter, and OKC's got the lead, 91-88. Yeah, and how about this? After only going to the free throw line two times in the whole first half, is Austin Rubin gets a corner three. In the second quarter, in the third quarter, turned into a lead. Shea out to Waters, catch fire three, that's good. Uh, it's just every player out there can get to the basket. Reed knew he was going to make it, stared it down. Set it to that deep three with Poku defending. J Dub, little sidestep. How about J Dub, the skill? McDaniels run off the line. Wants to drive. Help defense came over. Nas Reed, the extra pass over to Edwards. Got a mini fly by Edwards. Still drains it from deep. Always a three point threat. Gets it right back. Swings it down to Wiggins. Tried to scoop it underneath. Oh, Morelli. Nice play. That's a tough, that's a tough pass to make, too. A little pocket pass between two players close, close to the basket. And Jalen Noel continues to be a problem. Just so reliable off the bench for Minnesota. As we hit the five-minute mark. Out of the timeout for Minnesota. Edwards got by Shea and then rises up and puts it down. As Shea diagnoses the defense. Got a little mismatch here with Reed. Goes between his legs, fires it inside. How about the vision and then the finish of Omarui? Just always make yourself available no matter who has the basketball. Omarui's had a couple of buckets like that already this ball game. And Reed snaps what was six consecutive minutes, misses for Minnesota. Omarui wants to get it back out to the perimeter. Giddy trying to turn the corner, spins away from trouble and banks it home. What a move by Josh Giddy inside. Yeah, he did a good job of holding on to the basketball in traffic. And a six second differential between shot and game. Edwards double team. Cross court pass over to Rivers. So if you're you don't need to foul. You just play good defense. Rivers from downtown with the biggest shot of the game. Whoever gets this rebound and has to take a couple of dribbles. And take that shot. Oh, Edwards missed the second. Giddy with the rebound. Puts his head up. Launches it. Off the backboard. And a thriller here at Paycom Center. Comes to a close.